Hello, my friends. How is everybody doing? I hope you are having a wonderful one today. Uh, so, Kit has finished the Stepman co-op commander version of StarCraft II, Art of the Swarm. And that's very excited because that sounds like a lot of fun to me. So we're going to give it a go. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. Let's do this. Yeah, it's from Kit, who's the same person that made the uh, Legacy of the Void Zeratul edition. Is this downloadable for everyone or is it still in testing? It is still in testing. Uh, I can... Let me look at when he plans to have it out. He told me in his message. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, publicly sometime in October is uh, his goal. So that's really cool. All right, let's uh, jump on into it. I don't really have anything else to say, so we're just going to give it a go. By the way, for all the people who are watching this live, I'll probably upload this onto the archives if it's good. Uh, for all the people, hot's oh, more like bots. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Fraximel, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, I forgot what I was going to say because that was so funny. <laughs> what are you hoping to oh man, I wish I was that clever. I told you. So I don't know exactly how different this is, uh, but I, I don't think it's like super major changes. It's really just playing with the faction, you know? Oh yeah, uh, no, not about the Archive channel. We, uh, tonight at four in the morning Pacific time or whatever your regional equivalent is, uh, Loco and I are teaming up once again to do the co-op, uh, competitive mutator challenge thing that CTG runs. So if you are around, uh, come check that out because it'll be, it'll be pain for me, but it'll be fun for everyone else. We're playing against Jay Barino and Subsoria. You may know them. And we're going to win again. Uh, last time we did it, it was myself and... Lo Whoa! Okay, I guess we are... I guess we are not doing the uh, slow bit of the prologue. I'd love to see it. <laughs> Any way to skip through the... <laughs> through the tutorial section is awesome. I need an overlord to morph anything else. Well, even go to sleep or just wake up at 4 a.m.? Uh, the plan is... So, uh... I woke up really early this morning to work on the video for the uh the legion on the archives and now i'm really tired so then i'm gonna go to sleep and then i'm gonna wake up at four in the morning then i'm going to crush some nerds and co-op then i'm gonna go back to sleep that is the goal but it's actually it's really complicated what i have to do because right now let's just get a couple more overlords why not let's uh, uh because Sorry, I'm trying to remember how to play a video game. Uh, right now, I am dog-sitting for my parents, which means that they're not home, and I'm chilling with them in the mornings, evenings, and overnight, because uh, they're old ladies and they shouldn't be left alone. They'll get very sad and lonely, which means I'm going to have to sneak out of the house and go back to my place at like 3.30 in the morning in order to come play co-op because they don't have a PC that I can play on that's good enough and I don't have recording equipment over there. It's, uh, it's going to be like, it's going to be like being a teenager again, sneaking out of parents' place at night to play video games. It's going to be really dumb. But I find it very funny. Do we have any upgrades available? We do not. We have Recycle Mecha Zergling. It looks like we do have to... I love this. It tells you when the upgrades unlock. That's really nice. What a good little thing. Okay. So we're just going to have the default Zerglings to start with. None of the cutscenes are changed, I believe. So we're just going to... Uh, we're gonna blast through. Yeah, the recycling thing is really nice. These zerglings are insane. I know that. I have no idea if we're actually going to get our little. Oh, that's a predator. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have his electric field. Thank goodness. <laughs> so this is the first indication that we do have uh, swapped unit types. It's not just gonna be the base campaign. This is consistent with the way that his Legacy of the Void Zeratul campaign worked. So, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, these Zerglings are insane. The ones from Stepman, once we get them fully upgraded and stuff, they're going to be absolute monsters, and I'm looking forward to it. Kerrigan, this is not a game. 
never is with the Zerg. Let's go crush through all these nerds. <laughs> I'm really glad that it doesn't have the electric field. We would be dead by now. <laughs> First mission impossible, one predator. I guess we would have the power of recycling, right? That would be our our backup. We're going to take everything nice and safe because I don't know what's going to happen at the end of the mission. Why, why does it say Eradicator kills zero out of 70? <laughs> what are we getting into? Oh, no. Oh, I wonder if next mission we're going to be <laughs> running Gary or Stepman around. That would be really funny. Oh, I hope so. That'd be great. The fact that it has 3,000 HP and a kill limit is uh, concerning to me. It also has detection. Which is good because we have Burrow. I believe you don't normally have Burrow on this mission. I don't remember, though. It really doesn't come up very often. Alright, let's take this down. Then let's go. Da -da -da -da. All right, blasting through. Not seeing anything else that is uh, necessarily too scary, so we're just going to unlock our friends and continue. We have 68 Zerglings, which is very close to 70, and <laughs> I feel I'll feel comfortable when we have 70 because it probably is a preset kill limit, right? It's not going to be like it goes Super Saiyan after getting 70 kills. It levels up to level 6 and gets Blade Storm. <laughs> I hope. 68. 78. 87. Perfect. Let's do this. Whoa! <laughs> Oh no. It's gonna be one of those campaigns, huh? <laughs> well. Let's see what we can do. I am not dying. I want to kill it if I can. Oh, that's not going to happen. Oh, the sentry bot's spawning is a little bit rough, though. No, no, the new guys! Let's see if we can take it out. Oh, it's got a flamethrower! <laughs> okay, I don't think we're going to get it! Um. Oh, gosh. Sure. Well, there they go. <laughs> Darn. I wanted to get the actual kill, but that's uh... all. <laughs> We're fighting Raid Boss Eradicator. <laughs> Beautiful. As it should be. I'm lucky no one was killed. That's awesome. Uh, thank you guys for the subs, by the way. Uh, thank you, Majin VSP, Papar Studio, Zalianu, Fraximal, uh, Mengus Darkblade, and uh, some shitposting idiot. Thank you. Let's do this. Oh, look, it's James Rayner. I don't know if these missions are changed. I hope that they are. Uh, some modders decide that they don't really care about the no-build missions and they just don't change them, but... We will see. Username for ants. Thank you for the sub as well. I, I, at some point we need to go back and kill that eradicator. Now that I know how it works, the flamethrower kind of caught me off. Oh gosh. Uh, getting the white screen. No, it's back. It's back. Jim, do you read me? Jim can't read. What is it? Ah, uh, it's I Kerrigan. That's a shame. Uh... I don't know if Kit is in chat. Is this mission any different? Because I'll just skip it if it's not. Because I don't really want to play the mission if it's normal. It seems normal so far. Okay, I'm just going to skip it then. 
Because I'm not using Kerrigan. Like, I don't care if she's a character. If we're not getting Gary, I'm not using it. I'm just going to go, uh... You know, why would I play... Kerrigan can already solo Heart of the Swarm, so why would I use her? You know what I mean? Apparently there's no Gary in this. It's just the uh, Mecha Zerg. I think that's probably fine, because Gary would also be able to really easily solo all of Heart of the Swarm even better than Kerrigan. Because Gary is insane. And I kind of like working with the Stedalites. I think that they're fun. So let's see uh, what we can make happen with those. It's like creep spread, but you don't lose it, which is nice. Oh, uh, we're going to get the white screen to crash every time. <laughs> but it works. Scanning, detecting Dominion forces. All right, here we go. Kerrigan, you're going to hide in a corner because you are not Mecha Zerg. And here we go. The first thing I need is a spawning pool. So what can we make? We can make the queen. We can make attack and armor upgrades. We can actually make a lot of stuff. Let's uh, get all these going. I like the top bar. Uh, we need a spawning pool before we do anything too fancy because I want to start getting those upgrades for the zerglings. We can get movement speed and we can get the... Uh, Egonergy Harden Shield ability, which is absurd. The Harden Shield thing is actually ridiculous, to the point where I'm like, yeah, this is one of those mods that I'm pretty sure has Taldorim enemies, and I'm not that scared. Because Zerglings can tank the Taldorim no problem, you know what I mean? And that's pretty cool. Wonder if Kerrigan becomes Mecha Kerrigan after the Crucible. If that happens, I will totally use her, because that would be awesome. If not... I'm not going to be, like, too concerned about it, but if that is what happens, it would be super cool. Well, it does appear that this mission is a little bit harder when you don't have access to uh, Kerrigan in the early stages. One thing that's really interesting, I was thinking about this last night for this campaign, and I was like, in the long term... The Hardened Shield ability in Heart of the Swarm is actually better than normal, right? Because there's the 25% damage modifier in the campaign, which means, <laughs> stupidly, really, really stupidly, more units get affected by Hardened... Like, <laughs> it's better in this campaign than it is in other places. For example, a plus three Marine normally would not be Hardened Shieldable. But it totally will be in this, and it'll give us that benefit compared to other factions. It's not better compared to, like, not having the damage modifier. Can we talk about how much damage these enemies do? Uh, 25% is a big number. Oh, we have to rally this as well, don't we? I have to start getting some queens. Oh, don't go after the workers, please. I need those. I am actually getting owned here. <laughs> I'm going to stick to my not using Kerrigan, but I can feel the pain from it already. <laughs> but that's fun. This mission, when Heart of the Swarm came out, this mission was like legitimately hard, and I am excited to go back to that. Look at that clunky old Terran tech. <laughs> he almost feels sorry. Oh my good. Okay, there's extra stuff coming. That is a lot of Hellions. I think I'm dead. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of guys. Let's see. I think that I need to open Queens instead of opening uh, Zerglings. I need to get a spawning pool really fast and probably use all my gas on Queens instead in order to have a better fighting force that can actually make use of this healing. Let's give it another go. This is good. This is exciting. It's, uh, night. Yeah, uh, pink is the co-op waves. So this campaign, in addition to having the normal attack waves, has, uh, co spawning co-op waves that you have to deal with. It's an interesting mechanic. Uh, early pickups as well. I can't get the early pickups without Kerrigan. That's the thing. Scanning. But, uh, yeah, those early co-op waves are very it? strong. And later on, I don't think they're as big of a deal, particularly okay. once we have better stuff up and going, but we were just on the back foot so much here. I'm going to get these stationed this direction. 
I like the fact that we get an economy really fast. That seems to be a trend for a lot of mods these days, and I'm all for it. Is just like, here, you have a saturated base at the beginning, and we're going to hit you with some hard stuff. Instead of like the, you know, base StarCraft 2 that's like, you have four workers. Spend the next five minutes building your next seven. We're going to go heal. I think that heal is really important in the early stages here. Hmm. I don't know if the heal impacts these. I hope it does. They're going to hit us hard. Save the hut. I should make zerglings from the larva at my hatchery. Can I make two of these at a time? Oh, I can. This is the thing. I have to learn what <laughs> Stukov does. I can get this money on the floor right here, which is good. Pull these down. Okay, reactored queens is definitely something that I needed to remember as a thing. I can mutate them from drones. Because we're in a really good place already. So these do not regenerate HP naturally on the thing. We also apparently cannot use the queen for it. I think I only need one hatch, which is really interesting. Right, here they come. I want to fight them with the ground forces in the front. And then the spines behind. Cool. I'm feeling better. And I'm just getting some zerglings as I build up a nice old force of plus one attack upgrades. <laughs> the most important thing. I'm going to have to get used to all my production structures also just rallying little bits of stuff. Oh, the queen is... Oh, I see. The queen is like Stetalite overcharging. I got it. I don't play Stetman in co-op. I just don't know what he does and what is uh, custom here. He's one of those people I've always intended on playing and then I never really get around to it because everyone else always plays him whenever we would play co-op. He's incredibly popular. I used to be like them before I met the great Belshir. All right, come get me. Be very careful here. We're gonna have to get a layer so that we can get that hardened shield upgrade because it seems very important. Circlings come this way. Recyclability is amazing. I'm really liking it. Looks like I do need a second hatch, kind of. I don't think I can afford two hatch production, but I can more than afford one hatch production. I need like 1.25 hatches. By the way, this is great up here. Like, this is just fantastic. I love it. Does this cancel it if I click it? I don't want to click it because I'm afraid it's going to cancel it, but... Oh, we can repair! Cool. <laughs> you learn more things about... <laughs> Our boy every day. We gotta play defensive here. I don't think that, uh... I don't think I can be very aggressive at all. I can try to get these and these, but we're not gonna be, like, cleaning out the map. These guys are legitimately very strong, and we need to treat them with respect. Alright. The bats. Keep the zerglings away. We got the lair. We did lose a couple queens here. Not too bad, though. Oh, yeah, energy field for queens. We gotta boost it up. That was a good point. I'll get used to rotating it. It's one of those that, you know, like, first game of the day doesn't count, and first mission of the day doesn't count as first game of the day because it's lab rat, right? Once I get used to using the top bar again, it'll be fine. But I appreciate the reminders. So once we have the energy upgrade, I think we can swing up here and grab our friends. Uh, we'll be able to fight the Hellbats as well once we have the energy upgrade. Ooh, wow, 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 that's a lot of stuff. Good surround, though. Really good surround. Nice raven. I'm not sure what the plan with that raven is supposed to be. Uh, detect the creep tumors that don't exist.
Oh, uh, pink wave coming on in, and then I'm hoping we can move around. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, hey, we got hardened shield. Let's see, missile these got. Oh, the missile doesn't do friendly splash to them. Lame. But it does seem to make the enemies run away, which is weird. Even though it doesn't hurt them. All right, let's just go this way then. We're over here. I don't see anything on the minimap attacking from the other side. Should be able to just dive tanks like this, which is great, because tanks are usually horrifying in this campaign. I'm not sure that getting this is worth it without Kerrigan. Oh, cluster. Careful, careful. Pull back. We're getting attacked on this side. Oh, um, Overlord. Make a Mecha Overseer, because apparently they have Cloak. Uh, fortunately, they're not doing that much damage to us. Just keep letting these activate their shield thing. There we go. I think I just destroyed my own satellite. Nailed it. And we regen energy. Oh, this is not easy. <laughs> oh, more guys on this side. I guess the ravens are so that I can't get, like, a burrow ambush on the opponent. Oh. I go, 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 go. Get our bonus. The bonus really doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always so gung-ho about it. <laughs> like, it's, it's units that you spend more units to get. But it is what it is. Alright. Get on in there. Dude. The fact that we don't instantly die to these missiles is great. <laughs> That's the best part of this mod so far, is the fact that Hunter Seeker Missile doesn't make me want to uninstall. What a fantastic design decision. I really like the speed boost into heal thing. We're gonna have so many satellites just set up because they keep dying. They don't die though, but I just like replace them by default. Okay. Let me set this up. Yeah, for people asking about the co-op dependency, this does use it. It's just that Kit is a really good modder and can actually make the co-op dependency work. The thing about the co-op dependency, it's not like it fundamentally doesn't work or something. It's just awful to work with and people don't want to do it. But Kit is a trooper. He is willing to go through the pain so that we can have the gain. Hmm. I have the Overseer. I have everything else here. I'm just going to keep producing. A little bit of Thorage. That's fine. Beautiful. Zerglings are good against Hellbats, as it should be. That is proper matchup countering, in my opinion. What does this do? Oh, it has the Oversight ability. Okay. Yeah, Thor's versus Hardened Shields, too. This is going to be a laggy campaign, by the way, guys. I apologize for that, but, like, Stepman is always laggy because of the way the Stedalites are not optimized. And there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I guess what I can do about it is have less Zerglings later on because the Zerglings... Basically, it's laggy based on the number of entities that are being checked by the Stedalites, I believe. So in the early stages, as we are big Zergling energy, it is going to be pretty laggy. And then it should hopefully clean up a little bit. I see there's a group of guys coming to attack my base. So we can just hit the Speedorama. Get on over here. And surround. 
Those are blue flame hellions quite... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of guys. I cannot dodge that missile. We'll just take the hit. Heal up. Lost a lot of zerglings here. Oh, those have two one upgrades. No wonder they were doing so well. Alright, let's do this. So does this cancel? No, it just clicks to it. And if I get an upgrade, does it cancel? No, it just moves to it. Thank goodness. That is good. Worms. If only there was a way. <gasps> Away! Oh my goodness. Thank you, Noctool. Now I too can F2. I guess we're going over here. <laughs> Sometimes the swarm takes you, right? Like, you don't you don't get a choice. It's like, hey, we're going this way now. Oh, Kerrigan. It's because she doesn't have Burrow yet. I don't know why she doesn't get Burrow on this mission, but she does in the next one. She just learns how to vibrate and go underground in between missions, I guess. Eh, you guys can go that way. I don't think we're ever going to be able to get these across the bridge, but also the Zerglings are going to be fine. They're so good against these entrenched uh, siege tank t places, which is awesome. All my Zerglings are dead. They're not that good against entrenched siege tanks, apparently. It's fine. We got the Queens. Everything is dead. Did Noctul spawn and die like she always does? I kind of feel bad for her. She's just like always getting bullied on this mission. She basically never survives. Alright. 